So now, now you go back to New York and, and then you're, and you're signed. He really takes a look at you. Yeah. No, I wasn't signed like off the bat. It was more so I, I had a three month trial. Whenever they don't believe in a model, I feel, trial. whenever they don't believe in a model, they give you like three months. Let's try, let's, let's give you a trial for three months and see what happens. And what they do is they send you out on appointments mm -hmm. and they want to see the people's, the clients, the possible mm -hmm. uh, potential clients' reaction. First week, I booked the cover of New York Times. Yeah, that you know. Oh my goodness, Chris. Uh, How old were you at this time? Uh, I was going on 17. I think, yeah. So you got New York Times, yeah. and you come back and tell them what they say. So I came back to... No, 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 you back to your agency, back to your, your agency, and told them that they booked it. Or they, 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 no, they, 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 they booked they it. They booked it. Yeah. What do you think? When I was just like, I didn't even know what the New York Times was. I was just like, oh, I got a job! <laughs> oh my God, I want to do a photo shoot? Holy shit! Excuse my language. But I was really like that, and they're like, yeah, but you don't understand, it's so... And I'm like, whatever! It's a shoot. I don't care. I'm working. It's all fun. I don't care. <laughs> good. How did that shoot go? But oh, it was good. It was good. <laughs> I, I enjoy. Let me tell you. Like I wasn't even thinking. Like, okay, it's a Vogue or it's a, you know Harper's Bazaar or it's Vibe magazine. I wasn't thinking all these. I was just thinking like, wow, here I am. You know, with elite. You know, in this amazing mall's apartment, right? I get to like meet all these amazing, you know, photographers, fashion stylists, models, makeup artists, mm -hmm. you know, like designers. I get to wear like ten thousand dollar dresses and suits and jackets or whatever right. shoes. I'm like, I get to travel the world. I'm like, I was in like fantasy La La Land. Like, <laughs> I was just having a ball and just enjoying that moment, you know. And I wasn't like thinking business, business at the time. Biggest I was just enjoying it. Some of the obstacles, the biggest obstacles you were facing. Now you hit that plat, you're hitting that, you're on your way trip, and we know it doesn't stay like this. And then we know this plat. Oh, I left. I left to leave within like a month after I got with them. Where did you find out some of the setbacks? Some of the hardest. Well, things? at the time I was too young to be on my own, um, living in a new country, a whole other country, with no form of supervision. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any family. I didn't have any friends. We were living in this beautiful mall's apartment mansion in the middle of the city. And it's like, you know, we could do whatever we want. Like, we did have, like, some sort of, some form of supervision mm -hmm, to a mm -hmm. certain extent. Um, like, somebody that took care of, like the, like, the mother of the house. But, like, we were, like, living alone within this house. And we could just get up and go wherever we please, whenever we want. I'm not oh. used to that. I'm, I come from a strict religious Jamaican background, <laughs> right? Hardcore, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's like, you go to school, as soon as school is finished at 3.30, come you come home, you go sit down, do your homework. I do my homework, and then I have to study for like two hours. And then after studying, I have to like go wash my uniform, iron my club, my uniform, pr like press my uniform for the next day, right? It was very like, you know, very order, like in order. And it's like, and I was also taught to, like as a young girl, like, you know, I cannot be running around the streets mm -hmm, doing, mm -hmm. you know, like Whatever being you free. Do, yeah. So I wasn't used to that. And, um, and then I got in a little bit of an altercation with one of my uh, roommates. <laughs> did you slam dunk her? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I yeah, so did. I'm, I'm bad, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and, um, you know, when, when that happened, um, you know, that was the eye opener for me uh, on top of everything else that I'm too young to be in this industry by myself and, you know, not being, you know, yeah, not, not, not with a good sense of self, right? right? I could get caught up. I could just see me getting caught up and getting lost. In the prettiness of the industry, so I left. Back in Toronto? Yeah, I came back home and um, I worked for like about a good, maybe like two years, three jobs. Job. Oh, no, not in the industry then. You just, no, oh, not in the industry. I, I still didn't get signed still didn't sign. I was with a, some agency though, but it wasn't anything like, no. You're a trailblazer. And I, I worked like three jobs and I saved some money. My next goal was I'm like, okay, I still want to get into fashion. I still want to do modeling. I'm going to pursue this. I'm going for the big leagues. I'm going for France. I'm going for Paris. So I saved some money and I was able to go to Europe with that money. I didn't have much. I, like, I went there with like $300 Canadian in my pocket. Um, I got as far as Holland and then I took a Greyhound bus from Holland to, New to Paris. I stayed in a little rinky-dink like motel, uh -huh. like motel, uh -huh. $20 a night. I went and I did what I did for myself in Toronto and in, Can in New York. I saw all the agencies again. Right. Um, and I ended up getting signed within like the first day I went to go see an agency, wow. but it didn't last. Wow. And then at some point I ended up having to start all over again. Within like a few weeks I had to start all over again, finding an agency, all of that stuff. And um, you know, I did it. And, uh, my first casting, I ended up getting with a very tiny agency, and um, my first casting was for Jean-Paul Gaultier. Wow. And I walked with Madonna. Well, get out of town, wow. Picture, yeah. So everything, you know, so, um, I, but it's just, 
like every time like I always get emotional when I think about and I talk about my story because it's just amazing you know like if I, if I were to have listened to the naysayers and that's what I teach a lot to with my youths mm -hmm. in my in my workshops with my girls you know it's really important for you to just like stick to your guns and just keep trying because you never know you never know unless you've tried you know and like once you've you know tried and you know you see for yourself okay this is what it is it's either you get it it's either you're making it or you're not at least you know because you mm -hmm. tried if I didn't try and if I would have listened to people telling me constantly you're never gonna be it can never happen for you it will you know like this is not the industry for you I would have never I know you made it where you are yeah I would have right. never like gotten to that point like all the way as France and you know being able to like go to a casting for Jean-Paul Gaultier and meet the <coughs> man himself you know at a casting you know and you know and the first thing he said to me was Elle est belle like you know meaning she's beautiful I mean, that alone, even if I didn't get the show, that alone was just like more than enough for me. Tell everybody over there a little bit about Walk This Way, your seminars. So my Walk This Way workshops is, um, I have a couple of workshops. I have workshops geared towards aspiring models, which teach all aspects of the industry from like getting, you know, finding an agency, how to deal with your agent, um, how to, uh, you know, like branding, um, you know, how to present yourself at castings, jobs, how to, um, you know, be, oh, how to own your craft know your craft from um you know like photo posing to runway so that's all all aspects of mm -hmm. modeling i teach um for like aspiring models then there's another side there's another part other workshops that i do that is self-esteem more self-esteem based um and it's like you know building your confidence mm -hmm. by way of like you know um uh, uh bringing in certain elements of what it is that i did for myself right into that like you know in the fashion side of it mm -hmm. um i also do a, a lot of like I, I just did my first year, first year of Walk This Way workshops camp, which is just absolutely amazing, right? Um, my camp where I basically choose 25 girls, and which I'm going to be doing both girls and guys mm -hmm, next mm -hmm, year, mm -hmm. and I basically like you know um, have like my friends within the industry, so from like uh, Dina Pigulisi, who uh, who's a television mm -hmm, host mm -hmm. for Breakfast Television, Tracy Moore, Sean Houston from Bustle, Sunny Fong from uh, Fox. Mm -hmm. I had them all each every day each each they had a special mentor come in and teach them about you know their their industry right give Fabulous. them hands on about their industry Fabulous. right you know there's so much that I do within my walk this way workshops from you know from the modeling aspect teaching all aspects of modeling to the you know giving back you know um you know by way of the camp right to self-esteem workshops go on my website check it out at walkthiswayworkshops.com and it breaks it all down God made my path such a hard journey because he wants me to like you know show to others and like you know help others that you know feel that they're not good enough mm -hmm. that they could never be mm -hmm. that they could never that they never will right that listen we all could do it we all could you could all could do whatever it is that you want to do if you put your mind and your heart to it you all could do it like that's why i feel that he's given me you know such a rough mm -hmm. road to follow like path to to, fall, right. to get to where I'm at, I, I really feel it's it's not for me to keep for self. Fantastic, and you're giving back here. Oh, big time! <clears throat> you guys out there, one of the best ladies around, young ladies. She's been through the experience. Check out her workshops. Find out if there's one coming to your area, and just sign up. And she's gonna be able to tell you through her experience what to do, what to avoid, how to walk this way. Wave, walk yeah. This way. <laughs> Fantastic, Stacy, your fashion studio, David, and thank you for spending time with us. It's a pleasure, Al. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's thank you so way. much, and thank you for your continued support as well. I oh, no. really appreciate it. Whatever we can do. Really so this is Al, Stacy McKenzie, supermodel, walk this way. We'll see you at our next event. <laughs>